at 5:30 over capacity. A North Tonawanda dad is outraged tonight over a lack of seats on district buses. News Force Jen Shantz caught up with him and also spoke to the district. Jen. Well, Melina, this photo behind me is what sparked a lot of this frustration. Oreen Montgomery was texted this picture by his daughters when they were on the way to the BOCI Center from North Tonawanda High School. District Superintendent Gregory Wojtyla says he's aware of this problem. Buses carrying North Tonawanda High students to and from the BOCI Center were packed the first few weeks of school. Some students were sitting in aisles or on their friends' laps. And they're just trying to jam more and more people into buses. When parent Orion Montgomery saw this photo, he took action. I was immediately, immediately distraught. I went right down to the school at that second, I had a conversation with the principal. He told me his hands were tied, that I had to talk to the superintendent. Superintendent Gregory Wojtyla told us he's aware of this problem. Buses were over capacity by about 12. There were two buses that can carry 60 students each for a grand total of 120. But 132 students take the bus to and from the technical training center. They should have had that done before school even started. The district runs into this problem every fall, Wojtyla says. He says there's often an overflow of kids interested in the BOCES program, and the district does its best to accommodate. One temporary fix was to allow certain seniors with a school driving permit to drive to the BOCES center. But Montgomery doesn't want to worry about his daughter's driving during the day. Well, you're supposed to be under the school's care. They're supposed to be protecting our children when they're there. It shouldn't be up to us and our insurance taking care of um, going to and from BOCI Center because that's dangerous. Now, since we first spoke to the district, a third bus has been added. It carries 25 students. The superintendent tells me they try to prepare for new students interested in BOCES every year, but because it's growing in popularity, sometimes he admits that it's hard to stay ahead of the curve. Reporting live in the studio tonight, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 530.